I just recently lost a listing. Let me tell you why, what exactly happened. So I recently went on a listing appointment and I was up against another realtor who is in this marketplace as well. I thought the property should have been listed for a lower price and I was confident in that price based on comps and other homes that I had seen and been through in that neighborhood previously. I also just renovated a home that was a couple uh, houses down from that house and it was similar square footage and the seller actually thought that that pro house probably was a better comp for them but that house sold a year and a half ago and that house also was completely renovated and never actually hit the market because it was sold off market so the only person who really knows what that house looked like was me so I thought that the price should have been at 1.5 because in my opinion, homes, when people look for homes, they first look at Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin before they contact their real estate agent. If they're looking up to 1.5, if you're going over like 1550, 16, you might lose a set, a bunch of eyeballs. And the most important thing is to make sure that you've got eyeballs on your property so that way you get people through the front door. So I lost the listing to someone who said that they were willing to list it for one. Point seven, which I thought was a crazy number. And um, they asked if they said, hey, Cassie, I really would prefer to use you because of my energy. And do you feel confident listing it at one seven? And I had to walk away and I had to say, no, I really am confident with the number that I gave you because one, you got to get eyeballs on the house. Two, a buyer is only going to pay for what they're willing to pay for a property. That doesn't matter. It's your home is only worth what the buyer thinks that your house is worth. And for them, it's all about mortgage. And so if they can, if they're looking at one five and then they get in the house and they absolutely love it and they could potentially still make their monthly mortgage work at one seven or one six or wherever it is, that's what they're willing to do. But no one's gonna know that unless they're actually desperately wanting that house for themselves and for their family. And then lastly, listing a property too high. I'm actually seeing that quite a bit right now. And I gotta say, I'm guilty of it as well, is that you feel like you're chasing the market down when a property is listed too high or the market's shifting. And then you just have to keep doing cuts, cuts, cuts. And then people say, hey, well, what's wrong with this house? I thought this looks like a great house, but why is it still on the market? And you don't want your house to become stale and for people to think your house isn't worth it because at the end of the day, you're not gonna get as much as you probably would have if had you listed it lower.